Hey, what's up, fam? How are we today? I just woke up from a three-hour nap. What is up, Ferret? What's up, Norman? Moving Funny. That's a cool name. I like that. What's up, man? Nappy. Dude, it has been a while. I'm doing all right. How the fuck are you is the real question. Uh, Valerian, what's up? Guys, this is awesome. We're going to be doing the Left Behind DLC today for The Last of Us, which is uh, a really awesome piece of DLC. Highly venerated. Really good story. And uh, since we played the main game on Grounded, we're going to try and do this on Grounded as well. So uh, let's get started. We actually don't have a ton of time to get through this. New game. Would you like to see tutorial pop-ups? Uh, I don't think I need reminders on the control scheme. I guess we'll find out. And uh, yeah, grounded mode. Jesus. Ferret's in lurk mode. Fair enough, man. I appreciate the lurk, Ferret. Let's do some new game data. Now, guys, I don't remember there being a ton of combat in this, but there could still be some hard parts in it. I'm just going to be trying really hard to uh, just kind of get through it quickly because this is probably the second to last stream I'll be able to do before the sequel comes out on Friday. So it'd be awesome if we just got through the whole thing tonight, but I don't know if that's feasible. It's probably going to take like a solid three hours probably. Oh my God, Nappy! Thank you for the gift sub, man. Gifting what? one tier sub to the community. Fireflies? Thank Get you down. so much. Oh. That's amazing. Who the fuck are these guys? Stay the fuck back! Crap. Joel. <laughs> Put your armor on me. Alerts are not working right. I apologize Joel? if I end up missing any alerts, guys. Joel! I'm gonna fix Shit. that. Joel! You're... Oh. Well, I really appreciate it, Nappy. It's very, very kind of you. Thank you very much. You gotta tell me what to do. Come on. You gotta get up. Joel! Voice seems slow compared... Oh, shit. Hold on. I think my software got closed somehow. Thank you, Ferret. I remember that. Yeah, you know why? Because my PC rebooted and my software got closed against my will. Hold on, it's loading up right now. Riley? Ow. I landed on my hip. What the hell? I thought I was bitten. I know. It was kind of awesome. You're not gonna kill me, are you? Software open. How's that sound? Should be a lot I better. I haven't seen you, and I don't even know how long. 45 days? Well, 46, technically. Wanna know what I've been up to? All this time, I thought you were dead. Yeah. Here. Much better. Good. No way. Actually, I'm gonna. It looks like it's going up into Still the red a little bit, so I'm gonna drop it down. I had to sleep under Liz for three years, and you know how bad that girl smelled. To right about there. That I'm should be about sleep. perfect, according to my software. <laughs> it is almost 7 p.m. for me. Moving from. Have it up. What? What are you doing? I'm making sure I don't get caught with a firefly in my room. Relax. There are no soldiers on the entire floor. Here, congrats. I love how hey. she's already like a secret agent. Like, <laughs> I made sure. Are we cool? Are we cool? I disappeared and you're mad. Yeah. And I owe you an explanation. Let's get out of here and I'll tell you all about it. Kid Donna Vicious, what's up? And I have military drills. 
you know. I owe you another apology. Put some pants on and let's go. I don't know what's... Something is not right with my alerts, and I uh, I missed Stop. your very generous donation at the beginning of my last stream. When have we ever and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, it's not my intention to ignore your very generous donations. And I'm really oh, sorry that I keep missing them. But thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put you on your side. I'll try and get that sorted out so it stops happening. Jesus. Oh, she used her own shirt. That's love right there. Nappy, you're in PA? I used to live in PA. I should buy us some time. Find something to stitch you up, okay? Callus, keep an eye on him. Comet, keep an eye on him. The good old days before Comet met his unfortunate end. <laughs> I'll be back in a flash. Promise. Williamsport. Okay. Okay. I used to live in the York area. Pretty much born and raised there for most of my life. I totally got this. All right. Now where the fuck do I go? Jeez. Even just seeing this layout here reminded me of a really tough battle at the end of this DLC that I hadn't even really been thinking about. Yeah, there's there's some hard spots in this. Grounded mode's probably gonna be a huge pain in the dick. All right, well, I guess we better do a good job of scrounging then. What do we got on us? Literally nothing. Oh, wow. Why not start me off with shit, guys? You lived in Carlisle for a while? Cool. It's a small world, man. It's a very small world. Yeah, I, uh, I would have been streaming this on Monday, but something was going on with Twitch on Monday. It was like the whole platform got coronavirus or something. Just everybody was having problems. I saw people were trying to stream and it wasn't even detecting that they were live. I couldn't load any of the channels that I followed. And my cough was also really bad Monday night, so I was like, ah, forget it. I'm just not even gonna try. And then I, I was busy last night, so... Back when I finished the main game last week, I was like, oh, we got plenty of time to get through Left Behind. It, it won't be a problem. And then all of a sudden... It's uh, two days until the sequel comes out, and I haven't even started it, and I'm like, oh shit. That's gonna be a problem. <laughs> If I don't get on this. Of course, there is literally nothing around here to pick up. What's the scariest game I've ever played? PT. Easily. Uh, if that answer doesn't count because it's technically not a game, I guess... I guess I'd have to say Amnesia. That game definitely wigged me out at a couple, couple parts throughout that game. game just does a really effective job of uh, building tension. But no, PT is... PT was a phenomenon, man. And I, I wish that it had come to fruition. 
You know, it's impossible to know how the final game would have turned out, but based on that demo, that would have been some shit. Pharmacy. That sounds promising. I have not played Outlast, but I've seen it played. I, I don't think I've watched the whole game, but I've seen a lot of it. I, I know generally what it does. Seems like a, a very scary, effective game as well. But I've never played it myself. There's a glorious alternate universe where we got Kojima's Silent Hills. Yeah, dude, I want to go to that timeline. This timeline we're in right now sucks. Let's go to the one where the horrors are just... ...in video games, not in real life. <laughs> Aqua Lime. Huh. So, that's weird, because it sounds like... ...like a lemon-lime citrusy kind of drink, but then... Oh, it's Mandarin Orange Soda. Well, why is it called Aqua Lime if it's orange soda? See, that's that's what was weirding me out, was the background was orange. I was like, oh, that's not normally the color associated with that. What the hell? Did you just swallow the pills and leave the bottle? <laughs> God. Maybe. Telling me you've never chugged pills straight from a bottle, Ellie? Miss High and Mighty? Of course. Everything's picked clean. Fear was a pretty creepy game. Uh, I never played those either, although... I think I remember... One of the 360 entries in that series, it might have been Fear 2 or Fear 3, I remember somebody telling me about a sequence in there that was really good. Apparently you were in a Anything? school, and the lockers were all like... Anything? Slamming themselves shut. Nothing. And it was really creepy. You just kind of jog my memory of somebody telling me about that, like, years and years and years ago. Ugh. Need a key. Alrighty. What do we got here? The pharmacist. Maybe he's got a key. Pharmacist went crazy and attacked me. I hit him pretty hard. He's unconscious. I locked him in the American Princess store next door. Please get him help. And a handy combination. Hey. That means we've got something to deal with in there, guys. Well, no use putting it off. I have a switchblade. What could go wrong? Thirty-five right, three left, thirty-one right. Did I ever play Justine? No, I did not play that. I didn't play that or Machine for Pigs. Care, Ellie. If you're gonna jump out at me, go ahead and fucking do it. Yeah, I think like when I finish Amnesia, to be honest, I don't even really necessarily love that style of gameplay. The whole like, you know, you're totally helpless, all you can do is hide thing. It's very effective at making you feel vulnerable and scared. But when I finished that game, I was just like, ah, oh, I don't know if I want to do more of this. At least not anytime soon. <laughs> and surprisingly, I never really got a lot of requests for that content either. Even though it, my Amnesia series was, you know, relatively popular for me. I think I heard that um, Machine for Pigs was not really that great of a follow-up. I don't know about Justine, though. Atomic U, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Thanks again for that raid, man. That was amazing. God, yuck. 
Oh, man. Don't come to life. Don't come to life. Nothing. Whoops, I misspelled your name. But Ferret got it right. Thanks, Ferret. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Think about me while I'm off. I'll be missing you, but not too much. Lara. Oh, dude, I just saw him twitch. Did you guys see that? I know I just saw him twitch. Ah. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. Tab complete. Sorry, Ferret, what does that mean? Yeah, I'm crazy hyped for part two. It's been a wild ride avoiding spoilers up till now. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I, I got you. That's a helpful tip. Thank you, Ferret. I do know about that. I just wasn't thinking about it in the moment. And I misread the name. Should be safe, I think. Oh, yes. We're at the Wild 2, 2021. I hope so, man. I hope so. Oh. A military helicopter. That's gotta have something. Hang in there, Joel. Will I be streaming it at midnight? Uh, not at midnight, no. I'm not cool enough to do that. Unfortunately. If, uh, if everything goes well, I'm gonna have to head out on my lunch break Friday during work to pick up the game at retail. And then I can come home and start installing it and all that good stuff. Uh, so if everything goes well, I hope to start streaming it around 4 o'clock Mountain Standard Time on Friday. That's the plan right now. But as we all know, there's a million different things that could go wrong there. It might end up getting pushed back a little bit, but I hope not. How did I come up with the name Dude Long Couch? Uh, it's a bit of a long story, but basically it came about when I worked at Comcast. We were in training to do tech support over the phone, and I had this big long interaction during a training phone call where this guy told me about a dude who lives on his couch who I could assign an, uh, a tech call to. And I was like, so what should I, what, what's his name? And he's like, I don't know. We just call him like the dude on the couch. And I was like, oh, so I should call him like dude long couch. And everybody laughed and it stuck and it was a thing. <laughs> ah, cool sutures. Well, at least I can use this. <laughs> the story's not quite as long as the couch, but it's long enough. <laughs> Salon note. Chief Warrant Officer Larry Caulfield died bravely this afternoon. We were flying back to the QZ when our patient turned. It must have been spores because none of us saw the bite. The patient broke through the restraints and fell upon our pilot, W.O. Sean Brendan. Even with the helicopter spinning out of control, Officer Caulfield fought the infected patient, saving our lives. We crashed in a rural Colorado mall. Private Eugene Ellis, Officer Caulfield, and I were the only survivors. In subduing the infected, Officer Caulfield was bitten on the neck. He immediately showed us the bite and accepted his fate. I executed the infection protocol before Officer Caulfield could turn into an infected. May he rest in peace. It's a very fancy way of saying, I iced that motherfucker. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. 
It's an ugly world, guys. Alright. Let's see. Where am I going from here? Trying to make our way to that chopper. I guess I go down here? I haven't here played go. this since I recorded my Let's Play of it, which was Sorry. like four years ago at this here. point. Riley. So, how did you find them? The fireflies? Yeah. <laughs> remember that firefly you bit and stole his gun? Yeah, I remember him. That's Trevor. She I bit a firefly? Down the street, so I tailed his ass. I follow him into this alley, and all these fireflies ambush me. They took me right to their hideout. To Marlene. Were you scared? Terrified. I thought this time she would actually shoot me. But instead, she just says, what took you so long? She was expecting me. And she just made you a firefly? Something like that. That whole almost killing me thing was a test. She wanted to know I was committed. Oh. Pretty hardcore for a person of Riley's age. I'm not gonna lie. It's impressive. This was just such a good idea for DLC, honestly. Because you know about Riley from the main game, but you only ever know about her from, like, snippets of dialogue. And now you actually get to, like, play through that whole story that Ellie tells. Hero. Wanted for Firefly affiliation. Speak of the devil. She asks about you. Really? She says you remind her of your mom. <laughs> well, she'd know more than me. Ellie bites the power. <laughs> Instead of fighting the power, she's biting the power. Am I right? We're making good time. Hey, I noticed it this time. Hey, Kid Donna Vicious, thank you very much for the ten dollar donation. No one really. You're so nice. You're so generous. Well, Thank you. You know, and the rest of the guys. How are they doing? Riley, those are your friends. But you talk to them. Yeah, I guess. Now, see, this time, that donation alert showed up, but the gift sub donation from earlier did not show up. So I don't know. Fucking Streamlabs, man. It's always something, you know? I apologize in advance for any alerts that I miss or don't show up, but I appreciate everything from you guys. Thank you so much. I need to add a donation hype command to Nightbot. I just kind of realized that. That'd be a smart thing to do. Look for the light. Have you found the light yet? Oh, har har. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend your people. So what? You buy into this whole thing now? All I know is that I'm not a soldier. Okay. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, I think I'd have to be a Firefly affiliate just on principle. Just because of the name. Firefly. Don't be a sheep. Come on, sheeple. 30 days, my ass. People are getting infected all the time. They just do a good job of hiding it. You've run into more infected? Who is this person talking As to? part of my initiation, they actually made me kill this. <laughs> you know, let's talk about something else. All right. No, I really like you to finish that sentence. They made me kill this entire family. Remember who we were. Uh -huh. 
They also tie some of this stuff into the story from some of the comics. Which is, uh... Pretty cool, too. In the comics, they actually show you... They show Ellie going out to the mall and meeting that guy. I can't remember his name. The guy that lets her ride the horse. What do I want to say, Ferret? Uh, actually, I don't know. Um, it, it would say something along the lines of, thank you very much for the kind donation, and then just have a bunch of, like, hype emotes. Similar to the other alerts, you Shit, know. Hi. If you want to create one, go ahead. I trust you. Kid Donna Vicious is gifting two Thanks. tier one subs. Kid Donna Vicious, thank you so much. You are that way was, too generous. That was the first thing I asked my mom. She wants you safe at that stupid school. Oh my goodness. I'm not even supposed to come see you. Is that another one? She's worried I'll get you into trouble. Is that four tier one subs? Oh no, that's okay. I can get into trouble just fine on my own. <laughs> oh, I know. Two tier one subs. Thank you so much for those gifts. That one it told me twice, because Streamlabs is just doing whatever the fuck it wants, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm getting that watery eye problem again. You know, it's probably because I just woke up from a nap, and now I'm sitting down to play a video game, and it's like, it's like scorching my retinas. Just towel myself off real quick. Thank you very much for your generous donation and for your gift subs. Kid Donna Vicious, you are the real MVP. Hey, remember the first time I brought you here? What are we doing here, Riley? I have a surprise for you. What? Is it a dinosaur? Maybe. What is... I'll be your friend again if it's a dinosaur. He'll just have to wait and see. Okay, I, I get that she was joking. For a second there, I took her as being really serious. I was like, wait, does she think that dinosaurs are real? Has nobody taught her that dinosaurs aren't around anymore? Because I could see how that would happen. It's not like a... It's not a thing that she needs to know. So if she just read about dinosaurs in a book, and nobody told her that they're not around anymore, you know? You still saving up for that vacation? Every penny. You? Every penny. Hey, what if we end up picking? Uh, hello, surfing in LA? <laughs> That's right. Surfing in LA. Come on, let's keep going. Yeah, I'd say that's enough hype. I might go in and reduce the length of some of the other ones, just because they take up so much space in chat, you know? It's kind of cool how in this prequel section of this DLC, the stuff that takes place in the past before even the main game started, there's no, like, actual supplies to collect, but there's so much stuff to interact with. That's the real collectible in this part. Winston's gone. You heard? Yeah. Do you know how it happened? They said he just fell off his horse. Heart attack or something. Man. Well, how many people get to die of natural causes in this world? None that I know of. Exactly. So, let's see what he left us. Really? <laughs> That's such a sobering thought at first glance, but then you think about it and you're like, oh, well, really, that, all that really does is put us back into the food chain, right? Like, the ability to die old in your sleep is exclusively a human thing, isn't it? Are there any animals in the wild that ever get to do that? Other than, like... Okay, so, yeah, animals in the wild, I don't think ever get to do that. Of course, there's, like, domesticated 
dogs and cats and things that we keep get to do that sometimes. But in the wild, man, like, everything ends being eaten. Like, just about everything. What? <clears throat> Is this Winston? <laughs> man, guy used to be handsome. Bingo. Want some? Hell yeah. Sure. Watch out, that's not beer. Please. Oh. <laughs> she thought she was oh my big. God. <laughs> oh, here. It's disgusting. I told you. Cheers, Winston. To Winston. <laughs> Ooh. That's strong. <laughs> Come on. What has happened to the world in this game? About 20 years before the time that we're playing right now, a uh, fungal infection appeared as a global pandemic. They're called cordyceps. It's, it's basically the zombie apocalypse, but um, they're like the angry runner type of zombies. The cordyceps infect people and kind of like uh, take them over as the host and turn them into these just vicious anger things and then the longer somebody's infected uh they start to mutate into clickers and bloaters and other things so what happened to princess i assumed after winston died they took her poor horse she's probably out there terrified man hmm so let's create some head cannon where that horse escaped to freedom and found Comet and they lived happily ever after. Oh look, this is where the horse lived. It's got all the hay over here. I mean a little makeshift stable for the horse. That's so cool. Clickers turn into dead rising zombies and end up in the mall. <laughs> nice. I never played Dead Rising. Actually, that's not true. I played that... I played that downloadable sequel. It wasn't Dead Rising 2, but it was like... It was like a small sequel to the first game. That you could only play on Xbox Live Arcade. I did play that way back in the day. Barely remember anything about it. Ellie, help me lift this. good yeah you know in a world like this we don't really have to help the world out in killing us it'll take care of that just fine on its own okay hey, so Ryan. this game is like a nightmare come true pretty much you know what i'll get you up and over it's a very bleak world it from the inside. good call but really like the story in this game is only half about the infected and the dangers they pose the other half is about the dangers that the people still alive pose. Well, you see anything? It shares some similarities to The Walking Dead in that regard. Riley? <laughs> you dick! That's two times today! <laughs> She's lucky Ellie's not armed yet. Find this place. Come on, I got the perfect mask for you. Riley, perfect. Can you imagine that? It would have been like some Bill Murray shit in Zombieland, where Riley jumps out with the mask Ellie. on, like, and Ellie just shoots her in the head. Check it out. What is that, like a wolf man or something? Put it on. <sighs> so stupid. <laughs> yeah, bad ass. Now for Okay. Roar. Ellie, really? Fucking roar. 
Okay. Button mashing. <laughs> there she is! Now let's see what else this place has. It was a pretty good roar. Not gonna lie. It was pretty good. She has two arms and also a knife. That's yeah. true. But, you know, they're not quite as lethal as a gun, I'm just saying. Ask Skelliseer a question and shake for your fortune. Okay. Are we gonna die today? <laughs> Nothing. What a jip. You gotta turn it over, genius. <laughs> How does Riley know that? She must have played with it before. Seems dreadfully unlikely. Ah, whew, we're relief. Hey, Skelos here. Thanks. Will I drive a car again? I want to know that story. I feel it in my bones. All right. <laughs> wow. Skelos here is two for two so far. Well, kind of. <laughs> Are we ever leaving this stupid quarantine zone? The answer is in limbo. So there's a chance. <laughs> no, I hate button mashing, but at least it was for a good cause this time. Will we ever get our water guns back? The spirit nods yes. Hey. Ah, you hear that? It says we're getting our water guns back. Let them go, Ellie. Let them go. Never. A kid needs water guns. Will Riley ever stop sucking at poker? I can hear you, you know. <laughs> the signs aren't clear. Up, oh, there's still hope for you. No, nope. I've given up on that. You can have poker. Am I ever gonna get to play a video game? Your chances are dismal. Fuck you, Skull. <laughs> that's the saddest thing in this entire video game. Out of everything else that ever happens in this entire universe, that's the saddest thing right there. Am I ever getting boobs or what? The spirits are quiet. <laughs> of course they are. Top ten things that teen girls think about. Are you a butt face? <laughs> I am dead certain it is true. Damn. Oh, that settled it then. just dunked on himself. All right, we've run out of questions for Skelosir. This is so cool, guys. Let me see this. Huh? Will Ellie ever be as funny as me? Oh, please. I'm like 10 times funnier than you. He said, not in this existence. Ouch. Hey, it wasn't me. Skelosir said it. Yeah, well... well Skelosir can suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Ellie. I forgot about that line. You're welcome. That's so awesome. Ellie, you're the best. Also, Skelosir already admitted that he's a butt face, so, you know, screw him. Oh, triple Phoenix. What do you think? <laughs> Adorable. Nice. Why, thank you, kind pigeon. <laughs> oh, we're so cute together. Look at this. I like this mask a lot. It's, like, cute, but also... He looks kind of crazy. <laughs> like the pigeon's just ready to throw down at a moment's notice. He actually... That face kind of reminds me of Pigeon Pete from the Ninja Turtles IDW comic line. Probably not a lot of people here who have read that, but it's, it's a really good comic. People bought this stuff? <laughs> I don't get it. Yes. Whoa, shit! That actually got me a little bit. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was stupid. <laughs> That's the second time I would have shot you if I was armed. <laughs> Riley. Damn. 
totally forgot about all that. Let's see, what other fun things can we do? Isn't there some dialogue with this guy at some point? Maybe not. I like that bust. I would totally put that in my room. Just as decoration, you know? Ooh. Scary goblin hag thing. What is BDE, Ferret? I don't know what that is. Big dick energy. I should have known that. I should have known that. Yeah, she totally does. Also, I guess... So I guess this is meant to be a witch. To me, that looks more like an orc. <laughs> and less like a witch. But, yeah. Yeah, Wizard of Oz. Like, yeah, how would Ellie and Riley know that reference? Unless they... Got to watch the movie at some point. Which is not impossible, but... It just seems like the kind of thing that kids in an, in an apocalypse wouldn't really have much knowledge about. But hey, Ellie's already been through some shit, guys. I want to know the car story, because that's the second time it's revealed that she's driven a car before. And I, you have to imagine that cars are not that easy to come by in this day and age. So, like, how did that come about? You know? Alright. I think we've got about everything in here. Let's move on. This is such a cool little area. It's really nostalgic, too. Because, like, we've all been in stores like this, right? Especially, like, when we were kids. Just reminds you of better times. You know, Halloween's my favorite holiday, so... I don't know, I just, I really like this place. Alright. It is also a book, that's true. Have you guys seen that, uh... <laughs> ah, I got an idea. Have you guys seen that viral clip of the, the two dudes arguing over... <laughs> over whether uh, Glinda is a witch or a princess? It's only like 20 seconds long, and it's the funniest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. I think about that clip like once a week. Just remembering that argument. See those cars down there? Yeah. Red one's yours, I'll be blue. We throw bricks. Whoever breaks all the windows to their car, wins. Are you kidding me? I'm like the Brickmaster. That's right. All right. Loser has to answer a question. No sarcasm. <laughs> what is this, truth or truth? All right, fool. You're on. All right. All right. One for one. Oh, she stole my brick. Need more bricks. Bullshit. Yeah, you like that? Give me that. Tuna. What? <laughs> that was bullshit. It's total bullshit. Crash. And that's how you do it. Fuck. Okay. Uh -huh. That front windshield's or that passenger side window is being an asshole. Thank you. Fuck yeah. <sighs> I'm not losing this shit. I am one with the brick. Ha. Bingo. <sighs> Bullseye. Yeah. We just need the one on top. Last one. Yeah. Eat shit, Riley. tougher windows. Yeah, whatever, loser. All right, question time. I'm scared. Why did you leave? Why did you lash out? Did Marlene mention my mom or forget it? Whew. Let's say, why did you lash uh, out? Okay. David Brodude, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. 
Why did you lash out on me? I needed some space to figure this stuff out. I told you that, but you, you just... You wouldn't leave me alone. Yeah, because I, I cared about you. I know. I know. I do. Look, that's the past. And we're here now. So, come on. Let me just show you this thing. We're almost there. Can't wait. <laughs> Things got a little too real there. Just for a second. Online Karate, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? As a 34-year-old man, you think the apocalypse will be fun? Being able to do that kind of shit with no consequences? I actually agree on that point. But, like, how often would you actually really get to do stuff like that? Please you know how we thought they only powered certain areas of the city? Yeah. Follow me. Play this game three times on PS3 and another three on PS4. Nice. I'm not ex entirely sure how many times I played it. This is at least number four or five. Oh, this one. Hold on, Riley. Stuff to read. Warning note, Major Banks, this will be my third request in as many weeks for additional patrols in my area. With the Hartford QZ falling apart, the city has been inundated with refugees, many of which are coming through the mall because of the lack of soldiers over there. These people are desperate, and in most cases, they enter the city infected. As you've seen from my reports, I had to neutralize uh, three Stage 1s just last week. I realize resources are scarce, but if we don't get more security, I'm afraid that this mall will get overrun in a matter of fuck. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck. You're not going to listen to a word of this. Forever your lackey, Sergeant Winston Asher. Oh, it's Winston. Maybe that's where Ellie got her sailor's mouth from. From that Winston guy. Uh-oh. You want me to open this locker? Nothing? Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, let's go in here first. So, turns out, the whole city has power. <clears throat> they just flip the circuit breakers. All you gotta do is flip it back. It's pretty impressive, actually. There's no way this is gonna work. <laughs> what did I tell you? Wait, so the whole mall is lit up? Let's go find out. That's such a great way to draw attention to yourself, though. Yeah, Nappy, I just don't think you would actually get the chance to do it all that often. Like, in an apocalypse, you're going to spend, like, 98% of your time just running for your life. And fighting zombies. You know? You ready to see this? Or otherwise, I, like, I, surviving. I know what you're trying to do. And... I'm really glad that you're not dead. I mean, I'm glad that we're back together and- I didn't mean it. All that stuff I said before I left. I didn't mean any of it. Riley, you're such a sap. <laughs> I bet you started it. <laughs> oh, man. Are you ready? Totally. <laughs> it's really impressive how, like, this DLC isn't really all that long, but they do such a good job of kidding? establishing their chemistry with the time that they have. At some point in your day, you'd find time. I mean, I would certainly try. I love throwing bricks at stuff. I do. It's one of my passions in life. Oh no. Back to the real world, guys. Welcome to the real world, jackass. Now we actually have to worry about stuff again. Ugh. I hate it. <laughs> that part pissed you off the first time because you really wanted to see them all. 
Patience, young Padawan. Ooh, a bottle. Oh, I already had a brick. I prefer the brick. Because I'm the brick master. As has been established. Thanks for the lurk, ferret. Let's not go in there just yet. Let's complete the circumference around this area here. This is just a big waste of time in grinding mode, isn't it? Like, I'm not gonna find jack shit out here. I found, like, one quarter of a rag so far. I'll bet you they don't even give me enough shit to make one shiv. Well, I guess I don't need to make a shiv, because I have the knife. But it'd be cool to make, like, one nail bomb for some parts that are gonna happen later. And I bet you they won't even give me enough stuff to make one bomb. Oh. See, you bitch loud enough and the game gives you stuff. Still not a lot of stuff, but stuff. Nonetheless. Atrium note. With supplies running low, Private Eugene Ellis and I entered the loading dock in hopes of procuring additional rations. We were caught off guard when a group of roughly half a dozen Stage 2s attacked us. We neutralized the threat, but not before Ellis was bitten. After a heated debate, where Private Ellis tried taking his own life, I incapacitated him. I then took it upon myself to break protocol. I isolated the infection with a tourniquet. I gathered and cleaned a surgical saw from the abandoned triage. I injected Private Ellis with morphine before amputating his arm several inches above the bite. I'm confident that once the Private regains consciousness, he'll be clear of the cordyceps infection. Captain Regan Francis. I mean, if that worked, don't you think people would know that by now? I guess we don't know when that chopper crashed. It could have been very early in the infection days, so yeah, that's fair. You gotta perform that science before you know for a fact, right? <laughs> Alright, we've wrapped back around. So now we want to go down here. You always like the footstep noises in video games? <laughs> yeah, they it's kind of like an ASMR thing, isn't it? Uh, by the way, what's up, Reservoir Dog? Welcome to the stream. Oh, God. <sighs> Fucking cat. Ellie, not a fan of cats. At least not ones that pop out of nowhere and startle you. Give away your position. Oh no. How did they know my one weakness? Uh, I guess we can go down that way. Let me go in here first. Alright. Or not. Whatever happened to the Shadow of the Tomb Raider let's play? Uh I just suck. That's all that happened to it. I didn't stop for any particular reason. Jesus. Are you trying to kill me? I just got busy with other stuff. Um, that's definitely one I'd like to go back and finish someday. I just don't know when I'll get around to it. Oh, shit. For a while, I was trying to go back and finish a lot of the old series that I've left unfinished on YouTube. And I still want to. When I have time, it's just, you know, there's always new stuff coming out. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I did really enjoy that game from what I played of it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I would really like to finish it someday. It's on the list. It's on the list of stuff to devote time to. <sighs> Needs power. Here we go. End of the line. 
You know, the good news about streaming rather than making pre-recorded stuff anymore... Nothing? ...is that I can get through stuff a lot more quickly now. Out of juice. Damn it. Whereas before, you know, recording... ...this, for example, the Left Behind, since I would only do it in, like, you know, half-hour increments... Um, it would... It would take, you know, like a week to get through something like this, whereas now I can probably do it in one or two nights, so. Private Ellis has taken a turn for the worse. He's burning up and he couldn't keep any of his food down. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe the amputation was too late. Maybe when I'm not watching him, he'll turn and... The infection protocol. We did what we had to do to Officer Caulfield. We... Who the hell am I kidding? We murdered Larry. <laughs> Ellis held him down while I shot him like a fucking dog. I can't get his screams out of my head. Regan, please. I still have time. Don't do this. Alice, what have we done? What if I just leave? What if I make a run for it? I'm sorry, Alice. Yep, on a long enough timeline, everything goes to shit. What are you gonna do about it? <sighs> Empty. <sighs> Maybe I can find some. Guys, wouldn't that be some shit if that's how The Last of Us 2 ended? For the record, I, I know nothing about how it ends. I'm just talking here, just making conjecture. But it'd be kind of crazy if The Last of Us 2 ended. Oh, fuck. Stalkers. I literally have no ammo. I literally have no ammo. What the fuck? Ammo! Ammo! Load! Load, load, load! Load, load, load! Load, load, load! <laughs> Fuck me, man. That is intense. Okay, alright, alright. Shit! Are you kidding me right now? Okay. Uh, do I think the Grounded is harder than RE4 on Pro? Absolutely, 100% yes. There's not even a question about that. Like, look what just happened there. They send three fucking stalkers at you? When you don't even have any ammo? That time she only dropped one. Fantastic. Oh, you little prick. Oh, I'm so angry about that. She, he nullified the brick by dropping down at the moment I threw it. Hey, what's up, Joe? Welcome to the stream, man. Thanks for coming out. This is, uh... It's our first real combat scenario here on grounded mode and left behind. Oh, and it's as fuck. difficult as you would expect. Stalkers. Come on. Oh, good. Stop doing that! God damn it. to land those headshots. But that's what you gotta do. Man. Now I'm like half dead already. More ammo? 
All right, just keep giving it to me, one bullet at a time. Yeah, sounds like it. Okay, find some gas. Yeah, I guess this is gonna be one of those deals where it doesn't really matter what my health is because I'm either gonna be dead or I'm not. Like, whatever. Oh, that leads back to the... Okay, I see where we are now. We don't need to go that way. I did see some alcohol up on top of that truck. Uh, I guess we gotta drop down. We gotta climb up all the way over there and then make our way over and drop down, I think. Pain in the ass. Really. Look at that, a little bit of health. I'll take it. And a brick. Ah, the brick is life. The brick on top of the fact that I have a switchblade is basically a free kill. On any bitches. They come at me. Remember how to get over there. I think we gotta get up top there and then shimmy over. I'm not sure. Always the last one you check, right? <sighs> Nothing. Fuck. Great. There's another brick. Let's try and keep that in mind. Shit. Locked. Okay. Well. Gotta be another vehicle we can check somewhere. I didn't check this one. Ah, jackpot. All right, how do you do this? Take the hose and siphon it out, right? There we go. Do it. Nice. Wish you could fit a gas can in your pocket. I wish I had an attache case, like in Resident Evil 4, that I could just put everything in, and then I could fit that in my pocket. <laughs> it's like some Harry Potter shit. Uh, right, we're going back this way. Okay. Hate turning these on. So noisy. Move yourself. Don't touch electric water. But... Yeah. These are the kind of things you just learn out on your own, I guess. <laughs> Don't touch the electric water. I was really hoping they'd reward me with some ammo for getting in here. But no. Right, here we go. Okay. So.
so now we can easy easy sneak around here Keep looking straight everything's gonna be fine you're not gonna fall into that water and fry to a crisp I don't see why Ellie's so worried I mean she walked over that wooden plank across rooftops like fucking spider-man and it was no problem for her Alright, secured the alcohol. How are we looking? Still not enough to do jack shit. I do have a health kit, though. When did I pick that up? That... I don't remember picking that up, but okay. I am glad to have it. I guess we just drop down over here. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. If there's any undead fuckers waiting to jump out at me, now be the time. Got a bullet with your name on it. Honestly, I guess I should just use this health kit, huh? Because she's holding her side. Like she's hurt, so... And I know I took a big hit earlier. So, hopefully that's not a waste. Hey, Blue, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? Okay, we gotta open this guy first. I think we just put this under that so that it won't drop out on us. Then we climb up. Nothing to it. Yeah. Am I talking about Wrath of Khan or Into Darkness? Is that Star Trek stuff? I've never watched Star Trek. I, I don't know what you're talking about right now, Norman. Oh, I missed Blue's message. You're watching the second Star Trek movie? Gotcha. Sorry, missed that one. Yeah, isn't that kind of funny? Because I'm such a space nerd, but I've never watched Star Trek. It always seemed like one of those things, it's kind of like Doctor Who, where like there's just too much of it. I don't even know where to start, so I never start, you know? Okay. Star Trek TNG is your fave? Yeah. The next generation? I, I think... I had an ex-girlfriend once who was trying to get me to watch one of the Star Treks. And I think it was that one. I think it was the next generation. I don't really remember why we never watched it. We just never made time. All right, these guys all got to die. Um, um, um. Ah! There's another guy there. Okay. So, Ellie's knife attack isn't really stealthy. I take it. I hit it with a brick. <laughs> it just didn't care. 
That clicker did not give a fuck about that brick. Okay, yeah, I thought, I was gonna say, this move has the ability to be stealthy. Oh shit! Ah, oh, that freaks me the fuck out! Gah! God damn it. God damn it. Oh, I hate life so much right now. Okay. All right. Why are, why are there so many? Why are there so many guys? Uh, yeah, I always like Star Wars. I I I I like Star Wars. I don't love Star Wars. I love the universe in Star Wars, but I feel like with like every set of movies that comes out, they, they there's just so many problems with them. So using the brick on the clicker doesn't set it up for an Ellie kill? That's stupid. That's the dumbest thing ever. the whole fucking point of a brick. And I'm genuinely upset about it. Alright, let's try this. Here. Alright, if we stay stealthy... Still get him. But it does seem to alert like everybody around here. Ooh, look at these supplies. Okay, all right. So we gotta kill the clicker first in this area, or else he just comes over and wrecks my entire existence. Will turning the flashlight off make you stealthier? Uh, no, it's pretty much all sound-based. Um, there's various in-game justifications for it, but basically, I don't think any of the infected actually respond to the flashlight. Uh, the flashlight really only alerts human enemies. Like, clickers are totally blind, so they don't care about light. These, uh, dudes that are standing around, um, are too busy going insane from, like, early level infection to care about the light. Stuff like that. Alright. We're going to have to be a little patient here. I got to get behind this clicker and just knife it in the neck. This is the one direction I didn't want him to go, but here it comes. Careful, careful. Careful. Okay. Okay. One more. Yeah, <laughs> we did it, guys. We did it. All right. That is a good frickin' feeling right there. Let me make sure we didn't miss any loot along the way. 
Wow, okay. So that med kit that I used didn't even fully heal me because I'm still able to pick up these little micro heals. That's interesting. You prefer episodes four, five, and six and the other future films you hate because of a major problem, which is technically a spoiler. Uh, yeah, well, thanks for uh, keeping chat free of spoilers. I'm not sure if anybody is still sensitive to spoilers about um, the future Star Wars films, but always good to be mindful, you know? And yeah, I think I think the original Star Wars is, is still probably the best, you know? Like, they're the most well-rounded movies. They, they got huge and famous for a reason. I never thought that they were quite as great as other people did. Like, I like them, you know? I love the universe of Star Wars. Like, lightsaber battles are fucking cool. The Force is fucking cool. Uh, you know, in some regard, I kind of like the prequels just for that reason alone, because they, they have some of the most awesome lightsaber battles, even though they're completely ridiculous. But, yeah. Check out the pet store you're in, the signage, the displays. It's a Petco? Really? <laughs> Whoops. You never saw episode 9? God damn it. Where the hell are they coming from? I don't know, but I don't like them. You know, I didn't even... I didn't even hate Episode 9 as much as a lot of people did. It seemed like most people really hated Episode 9. I thought it was just fine. I didn't, like, really love it or hate it. It just was what it was. It was entertaining. It definitely has issues. I don't really disagree with any of the critiques people had about it. I don't know, I guess I'd probably hate it more if I was more invested in Star Wars, you know? If it was actually a thing I was passionate about, then I, I'd probably rail against it as well for the things that it did wrong. This guy is moving really freaking fast. It's gonna make it all but impossible to actually move up and get a stealth kill on him. So... I guess we'll just try and avoid them? I don't know where to go, though. This is the same spot we were in before. Oh, the, the gate. There was, like, an electronic lock that's open now, isn't it? This is noisy, though, isn't it? Isn't this gonna... It's gonna fuck me up, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Why did this actually open? Okay. Oh boy, I'm in a bad spot now. Dude, I wonder if I can get it. wanted to not die there. <laughs> I also love DBZ. I am a fan of DBZ. And it's another kind of thing where I have no illusions about the problems it has and the things that people don't like about it. Complaints are justified, but I just freaking love it. I love it for what it is. That was a frontal takedown of a clicker. I'm not even sure I knew I could do that.
I thought that was just gonna be instant death if you if I even attempted that. Dude, side shank. Okay. All right, all right. I probably knew that at some point and just forgot because it's been so long since I played this. Oh fuck yeah! All right, helicopter. Let's do this. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch that new Brawley movie. Um, I, I have watched it once. I need to watch it again because I. I, uh, I didn't really retain a lot of it, honestly, but I remember thinking it was really good. I just want to sit down and just absorb it again. Um, I have issues with Super. I don't think Super is as good as Z, overall. Oh, fuck. Okay, be cool. I'll tell you what, man. Ellie's got some balls bigger than mine. I don't think I would be able to do this. What she's doing right now. Here we go. Just a little hop. And you're there. Never let go, Jack. Cell Saga is your favorite. You I agree that Cell Saga is like the pinnacle of the series. For sure. <laughs> Ooh Saga kind of sucks, right? <laughs> A little bit. Are you kidding? Told you. I will Wait, say, though. Won't the soldiers spot them all being all lit up? Nah, the exterior lights don't work. How do you know? This firefly, Melanie, told me all about it. Nice. This looks fancy. Wanna try it? Yes, I do. Um, I will say, though, there is a lot of bullshit filler in original DBZ, and when people ask me if they should watch DBZ, I just tell them to watch Kai with all the filler cut out. It's just a better experience, honestly. And if you're watching in <laughs> if you're watching in English, it has a much better dub. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Riley, come here. No, you got this. Go. <laughs> what the heck? This is awesome. <laughs> oh man. This is what Ellie meant when she said she rode a horse before. <laughs> Little liar. Come on, get up here. Sit next to me. All right, wait up. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, 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 I just got on. Sorry, oh, Riley. <sighs> but we. Well, I loved it. So there. Oh. I got something else. What is that? <clears throat> What did the triangle say to the circle? <gasps> Jokes! What is that? You're so pointless. Fuck you, you found another pun book? What did the cannibal get when he showed up to the party late? Um... A cold shoulder. <laughs> Here, it's for you. You know, you might just be my favorite person again. Just saying. I know my girl. Just saying. I agree. The joke bits are some of the best parts of the game. And the fact that they tie it into the, the whole thing with Riley makes it even more awesome, you know? All right. It means you more. All right. I heard two peanuts walked into a park. One was assaulted. Oh! <laughs> Good one. Good, good. A boiled egg in the morning <coughs> is really hard to eat. 
<laughs> That's funny. That is funny. I like that one. <laughs> I'm reading a book on anti-gravity, and it's impossible to put down. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, that was awesome. It's not that the guy didn't know how to juggle. He just didn't have the balls to do it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I know sign language. It's become quite handy. <laughs> that was terrible. Come on. That's silly. That's really silly. I forgot how to throw a boomerang but it came back to me. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> when a clock is hungry, it goes back four seconds. Oh, uh, yeah. get it? Yeah. It goes back four seconds. four seconds. Yeah. Jesus. I once heard a joke about amnesia, but I forget how it goes. <laughs> <Good one. laughs> when the power went out at the school, the children were delighted. Mm, okay. Mm. That was better than some of the other ones. Come on. Those fish were shy. <coughs> they were obviously coy. Oh, that's cute. That was, cute. that was cute. Those two men drinking battery acid will soon be charged. Ugh. That's, ugh. No, they'll soon be dead. It's more like it. <laughs> what is the pirate's favorite letter? Oh, I know this one. <laughs> Nah, tis the sea. <laughs> oh, cause the sea, cause the water, the ocean. That's the best one so far. Yes, <laughs> awesome. The midget psychic escaped prison. He was a small medium at large. <laughs> that one's all right. That one's all right. I'm inclined to be laid back. That's true. I actually feel like that's, that's true. That's it. That's the whole joke. That's this little joke. He's reclining. Inclined. Meh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Newspaper headline reads, cartoonist found dead at home. Details are sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Oh, man, I love this book. The magician got frustrated and pulled his hair out. Oh, okay. Oh, mm. Like a rabbit. Yeah. Lame. <laughs> the frustrated cannibal threw up his hands. Oh, oh right. I get it. That's he ate his hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. Wow, wow. A criminal's best asset is his lie ability. Oh brother. Wow, no. <laughs> I didn't have the faintest idea as to why I passed out. <laughs> okay. Uh I heard about the guy who got hit in the head with a can of soda. He's lucky it was a soft drink. <laughs> Silly. Yeah. There was once a cross-eyed teacher who had issues controlling his pupils. Mm. Oh, that's, oh that's mean. Yeah. <laughs> that's mean. <laughs> Diarrhea is hereditary. It runs in your genes. Oh, that was gross. Oh, gross. <laughs> Clever. Awful. Clever, but gross. All right. That's enough. I'm putting this away. Till next time, puns. That was awesome. They really made up for oh, uh song. Ellie, we're so doing this. Oh shit. They they really made up for the last joke segment in the main game being so short. Cause that always disappointed me. Share snap! Yeah, best friends forever. Let's do it. How does this work? You just follow the instructions. I think. Should I do it? No. You know what? You do it. Okay. And off we go. Love. Maybe love. You trying to woo me? In your dreams. A little bit. A little bit. Love it is. Oh, okay. Smile. As an angel. <laughs> okay, something creepy. Whoa! Teddy sword. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, let's make an ugly face. Okay. <laughs> cover fish, cover fish. Okay, let's make a silly face. Okay. <laughs> 
I felt bad that I kept overriding all of her ideas. All right. Hey, there we are. <laughs> we look stupid. Stupidly awesome. Those are good pics. I like them. Huh. These look great. What's a Facebook? Maybe it prints our faces in a book? Yeah. <laughs> so this is actually cool. Uh, I don't even know if this functionality still works. But if you log into your PS4 account on your... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. If you log into your Facebook account on your PS4, uh, you used to be able to actually upload these to Facebook, just as a fun little interaction thing. Uh, we're not going to bother with that. Oh, we can just print our pictures. Oh, give us some pictures. Oh my god, I can't believe this is actually going to work. <laughs> I know. Hit retry. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, that ink would have dried up a long time ago. <sighs> what? Fuck you! Maybe if you hit it up here. Oh, you broke it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what just happened? I think we broke it. <laughs> I think we did too. <sighs> Probably longer than that, Ferret. So. I would imagine. Ooh. You want to keep exploring? Hell yeah. <sighs> Lou's dropping all kinds of Star Wars jokes. <laughs> hate that lady. Why does she have to sound like such a dick? <laughs> I know, right? Here's how I do it. <sighs> I love Ellie so much. Attention. AM shift starts in 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, let me try, let me try. Citizens are required to carry their ID card at all times. Report all signs of infection to your nearest area administrator. Remember, inaction costs lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would definitely be better. I'm not sure what kind of tone they're going for there. I'm a little hey, weirded out. This escalator is working. Come here. We should go upstairs. See what's up over there. Hold on, there's a big ass kitchen back here. There could be food. Or a note. A kitchen note. Thursday. I'm such an asshole. The other day I got back early for my patrol, and there's little Ellie, sitting there next to my damn tent, petting my horse, all while crying her eyes out. So what do I do? I take off before she notices me. What? I mean, what the hell would I say to her? Hey, Winston. Hi, Ellie. Can you please stop crying? It's upsetting me. Thanks. Yeah, that would have gone over well. She's always so cheery with her endless questions. You'd have no idea she's so sad inside. She wears that mask well. I'm such an asshole. Kinda, yeah. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of feel bad for everybody involved in that little interaction there. All right, Riley wants to go up the escalator. Dude, that must blow your mind. If that's the first time you've ever seen a working escalator. Whoa. <laughs> it's like these motherfuckers had stairs that moved for them. They were so lazy. They couldn't even walk upstairs. That's how good we had it back then. Whoa, look at me. That's so cool how they make that like an experience though, you know, because it would be your first time on an escalator if you're that old. Like I can't even remember my first no time on an escalator. Fucking way. I told you. <sighs> it's simultaneously awesome and sad. Seeing all these games that will never be played again. It's like a video game graveyard. I like how a lot of these are, like, modeled after real games. Gobble Boy. <laughs> Baboon Wrench Jeffrey. Urban Rush. Oh, here it is, guys. The turning. No. Don't tell me it's busted. It's busted. Man, for a second I thought I was going to play it. You still can. How? Right, come here. 
close your eyes. Do it. Okay. Use this to move. This is your punch, this is your kick, and you block with this. Okay. First, you have to choose your character. You're playing as the unstoppable, claw-wielding, yet drop-dead gorgeous, Angel Knives. Am I supposed to picture all this? Eyes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> She stands on the edge of the Shadow Temple, an ancient mystical building where they hold the tournaments of the immortals. Your opponent, Black Fang, steps out of the temple. He's this super ripped white dude with three arms. Why three? Why not four? Out for your blood. The music kicks up as he gets into his fighting stance. You ready? Bring it. Round one, fight. Round one starts. Black Fang rushes towards you. He throws a double punch in your direction. Jump up! There, he overshot you. You land behind him. Quickly, punch him in the back. You nailed him with a wicked elbow, taking off like 15% of his health. Yes! He spins around and comes back with a shadow claw attack. What do I do? Hold back and block to counter. You throw up your elbows just as he executes his combo. You skid backwards, but take no damage. The final block knocks him off his balance. He could recover any second. Quickly, count He slashed you. He grabs you, mash, punch, break three. Hit up, block, and kick for a blade change. Block him. You got it. Down, forward, punch for a special move. What the fuck? Oh, come on. I don't know why some of those failed. The screen turns dark. Angel Knives' blades begin to glow. She pierces his torso again and again until his heart flies right out of his chest. She winds back her leg and roundhouses his head clean off. A geyser of blood covers the entire playing field. Oh, nice. That is an ultra kill. Angel Knives throws her fists in the air. You win. Fuck yeah, I win. <laughs> Not bad for your first game. Fuck yeah. So? It was all right. You loved it. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did. <laughs> mm, the real thing would be better. You hear that? But okay. Hey, you know what? We should head back. I need to head back. You got plenty of time. Riley, I don't have any more strikes left at this place. Tomorrow we'll just pick up where we left off. I can't. We'll, we'll just do it another day then. <laughs> okay, Firefly Grill, when? They've asked me to leave. Leave what? Boston. I'm supposed to join a group in another city. I argued with them to stay here, but you know how Marlene is. Nothing's easy with her, everything's a test. They're picking me up tomorrow. Okay. That's it? Well, what do you want me to say? I don't know, how about some friendly advice? <laughs> I'm serious. Why did you bring me here? I wanted to see you. No, why did you bring me here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> you want my advice? Go. Come on, let's just say our goodbyes. I'm gonna go check out this music. Riley. She's a little Riley. butt hurt. It's understandable, right? Damn it. I'm sure it's a big coincidence that Riley kind of looks like Angel Knives, isn't it? Riley. <laughs> 
Hey, maybe we should stick together. It's kind of creepy in here, Riley. Just throwing that out there. Oh, God. I found myself in the evil within. What happened? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not creepy at all. I'm telling you guys, Ellie's my freaking spirit animal. I just love her attitude so much. The way she comports herself. She's just such a great character. Oh, sounds good, Nappy. Thanks for uh, coming by. Hope you have a good night, man. You ever seen anything like this? Are we just done talking? I don't know, are we? You don't get to be pissed off at me. I'm pissed off at you. For what? Asking you what you think? When have you ever cared about what I think? We were good. We were better than good, and then you told me to fuck off, and then you just up and vanish. This whole day... <sighs> you feel guilty? You want an out? I I'm I'm giving it to you. I'm supposed to be holed up on the other side of town. I get caught as a firefly, I'm dead. Guilt didn't make me cross a city full of soldiers, Ellie. And yeah, I did some shit that I don't know how to take back, but I'm trying. <laughs> Speaking of, Those water guns you've been dreaming of? I nearly got shot for these. You sandbagger. She had them the whole time. Okay. First... I'm gonna destroy you. <laughs> and then we'll talk. You're about to get drenched. <laughs> See what you got, Firefly Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Press R2 multiple to times to pump the water gun. <clears throat> okay, here we go. In your face! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lighten her up. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Oh. Jesus, she's pretty accurate too, though. Oh, she totally whipped my ass. Oh man! Wow. Boosh! I just fucked you up. What? Boosh! You barely even hit me. You're drenched. Okay. You count to five. I'll go high, and we'll hunt each other. Whoever gets hit first loses. Fine. Fair deal. Close your eyes. One, two, three, four, five. You ready? Okay. All right, guys. Let's make sure we're loaded up and ready to go here. Just got to be the first to get a shot off. What? That was close. No, come on. Oh, come on. I was behind cover. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Just go hide. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we can Got still do this. Guy. We can still do this. Maybe we wait and see if we can catch her sneaking around somewhere. Oh. Ah. Got her. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh. oh, what was that? 
One one. What's it gonna be now? I don't get cocky. <laughs> Count it down. All right, go. One. Sudden death, guys. It all comes down to this. Two. Five. Ready or not, here it comes. All right, we're utilizing the same tactic because that actually worked pretty well. Wait and let her come to us. Make sure we don't get flanked over on this side. Got her! Yes! That was awesome! Oh, shoot! Fuck oh, grounded shoot. mode. What did I just do? Did you see those skills? Okay. Someone should revoke that dog tag. <laughs> Ow! Now you're just mean. Uh, that's it. We're going again. Riley... I would love to do this all day. But you gotta go back. I gotta go back. No, okay. so sad. Fine. Can I at least walk you home? I guess. I'll allow it. Come on, let me get my backpack. You remember winning your first Super Soaker at the boardwalk in Jersey in the early 90s? Good memories, man. I never really did a... <clears throat> I never really did Super Soaker like that, but I did a lot of laser tag back in the day. I love laser tag. I said it like an asshole, but I totally meant it. You should go. I mean, this is something that you've wanted for, you know, forever, so. Who am I to stop you? The one person that can. That's love, bitch. No, please don't go. I'll be so miserable without you. I'll be fine. And you'll be fine. And we'll see each other again. You should keep these. Not gonna do me any good. You still like that Walkman around? Always. Let me see it. Here. What's in it? That tape you gave me? <laughs> you really will be miserable without me. <laughs> Shut up. How do you still Please find working don't. batteries? Okay. 20 years into an apocalypse. What are we doing? You'll see. Yeah. This is a terrible <laughs> idea, by the way. Really? Come here. Get your ass up here. It's so stupid. <laughs> But if we're going to do it, might as well have fun with it. <laughs> Here. What is that? Hey. What's wrong? Damn it. Uh, sorry, guys. Cost been bad this week. I don't know why. Like, worse than usual. Joel!
Yeah, I played a lot of laser tag back in the day. I actually remember, um, I went there for my birthday one year. And I specifically remember, uh, you had to, like, give them a, a name for your scorecard. And you could just use your real name if you wanted, or you could give them another name. You could tell them whatever you wanted. And, uh, I was- I was so cool back then. <clears throat> and just, you know, so hip that I, uh, I put in the name Goku <laughs> for my laser tag game. And, uh, I remember after the, afterwards, uh, they were handing out, like, awards and, like, announcing scores and stuff, and the girl that was announcing it got to my name, and she didn't know how to pronounce Goku. She was like, Gok- Goku? Go- what? And I was like, you idiots, Goku! Don't you know DBZ, idiot? I didn't actually say that. But I thought it. Picked clean? Hold on, I gotta see what this is. Does that mean I found every collectible? Wow, I found all the collectibles and left behind, guys. Ultra rare. Less than 2% of people have done that. I'm the man. To the coolest captain around. Larry, Sean, somebody else. Ellis, happy birthday. Here's to another fine year. Yeah, it didn't work out so great. All right, are we going to get to the combat sequences now? Because I've been dreading this. Well, that's convenient. Relax. What the hell are we doing here? Who gives a fuck about that old man and a little girl? Yeah, the sooner we find them, the sooner we get out of here. Make sure this area's clear. I'm going this way. Check around back. Okay. I've got one arrow. I'd really like to not have to use it on these guys if I can help it. But we'll see how this goes. Damn. That guy got what was coming to him. Om nom nom. How much stuff do I have now? Still not enough to make jack shit. Alright, there were two more guys. It should be possible to stealth kill them without too much trouble. Uh-oh. He found his buddy. He's not happy about it. Spread out. Okay, where did he go? There he is. Hey, buddy, why don't you pick a direction and commit to it? How's that sound? Ooh. Oh, that's good. That's the stuff right there. That's the stuff. Alright, where's this last dude? Yoink. Oh! Two more. Sexy. Uh, uh. Okay. He's up here. Shit! <laughs> gotcha, bitch! Of course they didn't drop anything. All right. I'm coming to get you, Joel. These guys want to fight. I'll fucking get them on. Damn right, Ellie. Damn right. Get psyched. Get pumped. Get to him. Stitch him up. And then I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Seriously, this would be freaking terrifying. A kid Ellie's age. I mean, this would be terrifying for anybody, but especially at her age. And she's just 
facing it head on. It's more impactful because she feels like such a real character, you know? That's what makes a lot of the stuff in these games Which way? as impactful as it is, I feel like. Because they're just so well written. Man. This is ominous. Alright. surviving member of my crew then I'm gonna die in an air duct <laughs> hey Gibby what did you expect me to do I was bitten and it was only a matter of time before she killed me even though I wasn't infected she said she wasn't going to but I could see through her eyes why else would she reach for her gun? Why the fuck did she reach for her gun? I was just talking to her. If she wasn't lying, I wouldn't have to hit. She would have shot me. I'm sure of it. Then why'd she keep you alive all this time, Ellis? Huh? It doesn't matter. I shot her. I ran away. I fought and escaped those fucking things, and in the process, <laughs> the sutures on my goddamn stump ripped open. <sighs> I'm bleeding to death, and I can't sew it back up. <sighs> not with one arm. I can't make the fucking knot. <clears throat> Rest eternally, <laughs> is what he meant. So this is the guy that we read about earlier, who got bit on the arm, and then the other guy, instead of killing him, actually saved his life, apparently. I mean, it appears it worked, because look, he didn't turn. He just died from blood loss, I guess. So interesting, I actually, that might be the only instance we know of, of, like, saving somebody who was bit. Like, apparently if you amputate the limb quickly enough, you can save yourself. Okay, okay, all right. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, pit them against each other. That is awesome. Look at that. I love doing that. This is maybe the only time you can actually pit infected and hunters against each other and I hope there's just so much more of that in the sequel because I know like it's you know it's kind of doing your job for you so like you can't do it all the time or else there, you, there'd never be any real gameplay but like I don't know man it's just a lot of fun it's fun to watch it's fun to do it's satisfying you know I wonder if he's going to hear this. Really? Cool. I thought for sure he would hear that. Some more blades. Not even close to being able to craft a bomb, though. Ease, man. Okay, we're not gonna waste any resources on this. It's just one clicker. Uh, why did you turn this way? What if you didn't do that? Okay, die. Ooh. 
Dude, even knowing that I can kill them from the front like that, that's so intense. Any more of these fuckers? No. All right. Because I'm pretty sure that, like, the second they get even a whiff of me, any kind of detection at all, and I lose that ability to kill them from the front, I would just die immediately. <laughs> Onto the brick. Got one more arrow. That's good. Five arrows is actually gonna really come in handy. I'm gonna get a lot of usage out of those. I'll tell you that much. Okay, where are we now? More sugar. I mean, if it comes to it, a smoke bomb would be helpful as well for the part that I'm dreading. So close. I need a way around. Coming up here. Okay. Uh, nope. Still can't make anything. I mean, I take a Molotov too. I'd never say no to a Molotov. Okay. Oh God. What do we got up here? More stalkers? Stalkers might actually be my least favorite kind of infected to fight. At least when playing as Ellie, I think I'd honestly rather fight clickers than stalkers. Because at least now I know I can kill clickers from the front. But stalkers still see you. That? So you can't just approach them from the front and stab them. Hey, what'd you guys find outside? Not a damn thing. How do we know they're even here? We walked around this entire place. Horse tracks leading in. I'm coming out. They're here. Did you hear some fucking Get him! Get him, boys! Yeah! Dude, that's a lot of them! Holy shit! Okay. I need to go find another brick. Oh shit! Dude! Why is this guy just running over here? What the fuck? Fuck you, dude! Get out of here! That, dude, that was unexpected. <laughs> Alright, sounds like the hunters actually won that fight. Surprisingly. But that's actually so much the better for me. All right, I don't see any bricks or bottles back here. Slowly make our way forward. No lights. Because we got hunters. Hey, there we go. Blades. Alky Hall. Where'd they all go? Okay, they're giving me more stuff than I thought they would, honestly. Oh shit. Somebody's close. But I got my brick, so... I have confidence again. Is it just this one guy? Cause that'd be dope. There. That's it. God, 
That's so brutal, dude. Like, I can't watch something like that and not just briefly imagine what it would feel like to have a knife rammed into your spine. Oh, God. As somebody who has had epidural injections into his spine, I'm here to tell you, it's... Even that is not necessarily a great feeling, and it's just a syringe. An actual frickin' knife? Fuck that, yo. Okay, alright, alright. You were watching a co-op LP at Dead Space 3 on the hardest difficulty, and one of the players knew what to do, and the other had no idea? Sounds about right. That can make for a good LP, though. Like, somebody experiencing it for the first time, and then somebody else actually, like, knowing what to do. And just kind of, like, driving, you know? That actually sounds... not bad. Alright. Let's take a look at what we got now. Surprisingly, I can make a Molotov now. Still can't make anything with the blades. I'm almost certainly gonna want this Molotov instead of a, uh... He, uh, instead of a health kit, so... I think I will just do that. And then hopefully we find a little bit more explosive powder. Explosive powder. It's getting hard to talk. And then I can make a nail bomb. I'd much rather have a nail bomb than a smoke bomb if it comes to that. But we'll just have to see what they give us, you know? Alright, where do I exit? Here we go, this looks right. cool statue. Look, it's just like me, guys. I have a bow, too. I wonder if there's some kind of Easter egg if you shoot an arrow through there. I'm actually, like, really curious about that, but I don't want to waste an arrow to find out. Alright, so we've already canvassed this whole area. There shouldn't really be anything new around here, I don't think. Well, nope. Apparently I'm wrong. Arrows and supplies. Okay. That's just because of the dead guys there. Hey, Fuck. I didn't realize they were out here already. I gotta do something. Fast. Okay, so this is the part I was dreading. I remember playing this on hard mode. Even on hard mode, this took me so many tries. hell. Great start. Great start. Well, at least I got him away from the door. Oh, hello there. Oh, I can't aim! I'm too short to aim over the windowsill! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh, that, that just started off crappy. It's good to have a restart here. Okay, right off the bat, let's go stealth kill this guy. Then we'll come back and we'll probably Molotov the guys at the door. Because fuck them. You know what I'm saying? 
Or... They could be alerted to that stealth kill. That's fine too, I guess. Whatever gets them away from the door, you know? I'm going over this way. You, go check over there. Who is this guy talking to? I hate when they make that noise when I knife somebody. How did that alert him? Are you kidding me? Uh, nice throw, idiot. Wanna play with fire? That literally got nobody? Are you kidding me? Alright, well, maybe I'll die. <laughs> and we can try again. <laughs> no, I'm not! You are! <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, and they let me retrieve the arrow, too. Guys! That was... that was beauty. That was beauty right there. I will frickin' bow and arrow everybody. Okay. Ellie's just a little too short to shoot over these barriers, though. The chest-high walls. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Y'all better quit banging on the door. Like you're the fucking police. Alright, this guy we're gonna try and stealth. Gonna try and hold on to a couple of these arrows here. Nothing to it, guys. Nothing to it. Look at that shit. That's that. Interesting that their bodies disappeared, but it left the arrows, so I don't care. All right, Joel. She's down there by the door. You gotta pin down. Go finish her. The hortling grads. What? You want to do this? Let's do this. Okay. Run for cover. Lose them, lose them. Ah! I can't fucking believe I missed that. Shit. Get up there, Ellie. Oh god, they're like right here. Whoa. Ah! No! No! <laughs> Dude climbed right up to where I was. Please, checkpoint. No! Dicks! No checkpoints? Fuck! Man, that's ass. That's just straight up ass. Gotta be a little bit more careful, that's all. Ellie, you gotta do something. Please hit him. Nice, okay. Ooh. That's a tough throw, actually. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it indeed. Oh no! <laughs> Oh! I got out of it! Yeah, you get stabbed in the dick! That's right! That's what happens to dudes like you. Don't ever forget it. Oh, okay, alright, alright. Oh, sounds good, Blue. See you later, man. Have a good night. Jason, welcome to the stream. What's up, man? Thanks for coming out. Are you 
fucking kidding me? It's okay. It's alright. It's alright. They're actually being quite generous with letting me retrieve these, so... We, we can afford the whiff a couple times. Just a couple times. Really? I fucking told you to quit that. Alright. I think we're back to one last guy over here again. This dude just loves to patrol this area. Oh, oh fuck. okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whatever. That's that. As long as he's dead. Okay, retrieve any arrows we can. What do I got? Four. It's not bad. All right, Joel. Let's go. She's down there by the door. Fuck. Got a pin fuck. down. Go finish her. Damn it. You do this? Let's do this. I thought I could land that shot. <laughs> she doesn't have quite as much range as Joel has with a fully upgraded bow. Sadly. Oh, come on, man. Oh, one shot. One shot. How did that guy even know that I was there? He came running up like he had prior knowledge. I hear the fucking horse behind you. Help me get this open. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. <sighs> keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. I never know what's actually going to alert them and what's not. Like, how did they... How did they know about that? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh boy, they're all up here now. Oh Jesus, oh boy. Oh! That hit the fucking thing! Gah. I mean, this is like the final battle in the game, so I might as well use up these resources, right? Ooh, from downtown. From downtown. Who's left? Really? Uh, Alright, I'm gonna try and retrieve a couple arrows. Wow, none of them are retrievable here. That's fucking fascinating. I'll take the door. You go find the girl. How about you both burn in hell? How's that sound? Where? Where's this last guy? Oh, 
I thought the two down there were the last two guys, but apparently there's still a third guy somewhere. Dude, where the fuck is he? Okay. Oh, found him. Seems like he's always over on this side. Um. Um. His AI routine is, uh, freaking out a little bit here. Let's put him out of his misery. That's that. I didn't come out of that with as many supplies as I was hoping for. But... Okay. Really? You want to do this? Let's do this. Fucker. Okay. Oh shit. Uh, oh, give it. Uh, uh. I was going to say every other time I've gone right and it hasn't ended well, so let's try going left this time. Far so good. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, be careful now. This is a good start. They're going for the door again. Second shot. Okay. Got him off the door. I'm out of arrows, though. Shit. Uh, are these the last two? Could I... No, there's at least three. Look, there's two more down there. And then one up top. Oh, and now there's clickers here? What the fuck? What the fuck? Go get him. Yes, get him, get him. Do my dirty work. I don't know where these clickers came from, but this is awesome. Let's find that old man. Wow, they took them all out. Surprising. Honestly, I kind of wanted the infected to win that fight. <laughs> I feel like that would have been better for me. <gasps> he dropped a rifle. Yes. Yes. Guys, I got a fucking shotgun and a rifle. Yeah. Wait, no, I didn't get a shotgun. I thought I saw a shotgun. Uh, okay. I got a rifle, though. And I will not hesitate to use it. But we'll try and maintain some semblance of stealth. Jason, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Yeah, yeah, I gotta set up a follower hype too. 
I guess I never did that, did I? Well, thanks for trying anyway, Ferret. <laughs> I'll set that up at some point. Wait a minute, are we are we done here? Are we good? Did I win? Can I just leave? Awesome. You better be alive, Joel. <laughs> I was still in fight mode. <laughs> I thought there were still dudes left. And then I was like, wait a second, I haven't heard from anybody in a while. Okay, okay. I can do this, I can do this, I got this. I'm doing it! Fucking pull it back! Or, or just go, okay. I'm not sure if I ever noticed this is the same area that we play through in the future, too. Oh shit. Santa cutscene, bitch! Press A! They killed your father! No! Good call, Riley. You lead the way. Infected! Oh, they're behind us, too! This way! You with me? Go, Let's go. Go, 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 go! They're getting closer! Oh, shit! Follow me! Uh. <laughs> Ellie! I'm good, I'm good! Just keep going! There's an open window! Run! <laughs> Fuck that bucket. Fuck all these buckets. Reach up. I got you. Hold on. Give me your hand. No, the bucket got revenge. Yikes, though. I think it's clear. Ellie. Ellie, your arm. No, 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 no. no. Gnarly indeed. That's probably the best word to describe that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've done this before. I'm kind of an expert. Ish. Just stay calm. Stay calm. Some more stuff over there you can break. What are we going to 
gonna do? The way I see it, we got two options. Option one, you take the easy way out. It ain't easy. It's quick and painless. I'm not a fan of option one. Two, we fight. Fight for what? We're gonna turn into one of those things. There are a million ways we should have died before today. And a million ways we can die before tomorrow. But we fight for every second we get to spend with each other. Whether it's two minutes or two days, we don't give that up. I don't want to give that up. My boat? Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. There it is. What's option three? Sorry. left behind guys what they don't show you there is how logically assuming that they stayed together to the end eventually Riley had to turn and obviously Ellie didn't so Ellie either had to kill an infected Riley or at least like fend her off and then run away you know either way that's gonna be really traumatic for her and she never even talks about that the fact that you know she probably had to kill Riley the girl she was starting to fall in love with what a fucked up world, man. But it's so, like... I don't know, it's just so well written. It's so good. It's so entertaining, you know? Imagine actually being in this situation as a kid. I agree, Donna. By the way, can I call you Donna for short? Is that okay? That's, uh... It's, it's unimaginable, really. You know? We're very lucky that we live in the world we live in. Even with all the shit going on with Corona right now, like... This game, it's actually... It's good to play this game, because I think it's a reminder that it's not as bad as it could be. You know what I mean? It could be a lot worse. And, uh, that's one of the reasons Donna's fine. Cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> you know, people have been talking a lot lately about how, like, oh, this is such a bad time for The Last of Us 2 to come out, because everything's so shitty in the world. Like, why do you want to play a super depressing game set in a world that's even more shitty than this one? And I'm like, well, okay, I kind of get that, but to me, it's... One, it's an escape, whether it makes you feel good or bad. It's taking your mind off of the real world problems. And two, like I said, it's a reminder that it could always be worse. And I know, as Calvin says, it could always be better too, but it could still always be worse. So. That got really loud for a second there. Uh, I'm glad I was able to get through this in one night. It was challenging, but uh, I think the main game... <coughs> I think the main game prepared me a lot for it, so wasn't too bad. You know, certain encounters took a couple tries, no big deal. Not a lot of combat anyway. It's This one's more about the story, which I think was the right call, because that's ultimately that's the more interesting part of The Last of Us, right, is the story over the gameplay. Not that I hate the gameplay or anything, but yeah. So uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for hanging out. Thanks for sitting through this whole piece of DLC. I hope you had a blast. We are now ready for the sequel. Uh, real quick. Tomorrow, I'll, assuming that I'll stream tomorrow, which I want to, we'll probably go back to Batman Arkham Knight for a little bit. And then Friday, Last of Us 2 is out. I don't get an advanced copy or anything because I'm not cool enough for that. So, um, assuming I'm able to go out and buy a copy on my lunch break and then come back and start installing and everything... I hope 
to be able to start streaming it around 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, if I have to push that back for any reason, I will update you guys on Facebook and Twitter, so follow me there. I'm Dude Long Couch on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and I'll let you guys know what's going on with the schedule. But, uh, assuming everything goes well, look forward to The Last of Us 2. Friday night, I'll just probably be streaming pretty much all night. At least a couple hours, you know? So, uh, yeah. Oh, there, there's my, there's my Twitter. Thank you, Ferret. I should set up a Facebook command, too, because people still use Facebook. Thank you, Valerian. I appreciate you coming out. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to go take a break. Give my voice a rest. Give my chest a rest. I don't think there's anything after these credits. That was interesting. Look at this. If you hit square, you can toggle subtitles on or off during the credits. That's weird, right? Why would you need to do that? I don't get it. I just wanted to skip the credits because I, I can't remember if there's anything after this or not. I don't think there is, though. Yeah, there's my, uh... There's my trophy for beating this on Survivor difficulty. Didn't get the grounded trophy for some stupid reason. Or if I did, it didn't pop up. the hell? Is there no trophy for beating this on Grounded? <laughs> That's a nice typo, Ferret. <laughs> I like that. Um, well, there's a hidden trophy here. I don't know what that's for. I only got credit for beating it on Survivor. That's really stupid. I don't know, trophies in this game work weird. I don't really understand how these work. It doesn't matter. It's on video. We know I beat it. <laughs> you all saw it happen. So, all right, I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to bow out, guys. Have a good night. Uh thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care everybody.